pair of beautiful, magnificent, majestic fox sisters, you lucky boy. A pair of beautiful... Wait a second. Nya Yahoo. Hi there, panty boy. A familiar face appeared at the top of my cell. A blonde girl with golden eyes. As I watched, she flipped over and landed in front of me, in front of the cell, waving her hands at me. From the side of the cell, another girl appeared, a, a wry grin on her face. Ah, it's the penny thieves. If you're re here to reclaim your hostages, they are already back where they belong. Nope, we saw the guards go into the bath, and we swiped the maiden silk again. Look. <laughs> That's kind of funny. With that, she pulled out a pair of lacy silken underwear from her sleeve and stretched it out over with... I stretched it out with her thumbs, showing off her panty prize to me. You came all the way back here to snatch their underwear again, and I'm not sure the Sundere Tyrant fits that label. The cutie with the katana, you wouldn't be you would be surprised. I happen to believe that she is as innocent and was as Oh my god, dude. Fuck, how am I this retarded at reading? Uh I happen to believe that she is as innocent as one can be. She seems far too... What, I just get into my inventory? Oh, I get a trading card? I just got another game. Yeah, I got another game trading card. Cool. I happen to believe that she is as innocent as one can be. She seems far too uptight to let any man touch her. As for returning to the village, we have a debt to settle. I smile weakly as, the fo as I, cons I wonder what the fox meant by debt. I'm not sure what this debt of yours might be, but I think you better leave before those two return. You don't seem to be friendly on friendly terms with the samurai girls. Wait, but if he doesn't know about it, we can just leave Onisama. That's not how we do things, young man. Your actions allowed us to escape our our early predicament without harm. This places us in your debt, for which we are now repaying you. Maiko, do the magic. Okay. The younger girl walked forward and placed her hands upon the locked door of the cell. She began mumbling something that I couldn't even begin to understand. Bye. Couldn't. Wait, who even left? Oh, was that Vivi? It was Vivi. <clears throat> she began mumbling something I couldn't even begin to understand. Her hands began blowing, glowing, not blowing. Her hands did not begin blowing, glowing brightly. Different worlds, girls wielding weapons, and now fox girls using magic. Next on the list, I'm going to find a talkative magical, magic sword and end up destined to save the world. That said, I was curious to see what this magic would do on the lock, keeping me imprisoned. Ha! The glow flared for a moment before it quickly fading. I don't know what you're saying. <sighs> There's a hiss, and then a sizzle, as the lock dripped onto the floor in a mess of melted metal. Well done, Maiko chan You did very well. Relax for now, alright? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be surprised about. That a fact that a girl just melted a steel lock. First of all, no... They didn't have steel back in Japan. Even I'm not that retarded. It would have been shitty quality iron. Fuck off. <clears throat> anyway. Or that I'm starting to accept the fact that this is normal. The level of this magic is extraordinary. Maiko Chan is quite gifted. But as we said, we are here to settle our debts. If you would like, we should escort you back to the forest where we first encountered you. However, I do suggest that you decide quickly. The guards do not bathe for long. I should know. I have observed them for quite a while. Goddamn, stalker. Well, I don't plan on sticking around, so I'll gladly accompany the two of you out of here. Maybe I'll find my way back home. Lead the way, peeping Tammy. Damn. My Machiko Sakuro Machiko. Not Tammy. Takahiro, but I suggest we keep the in introductions for later. Well, either way, then. Takakun. 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 More like. Follow. As I was stepping out of the cell, the sound of a familiar voice boomed in the distance. Thieves! Crafty, foxy, kleptomaniacs, I'll skid you alive! I think that's our cue to get out of here. And with that, the three of us darted out of the prison. And that's pretty much what happened. According to Village Elder, there's supposed to be a shrine somewhere in this forest. It must be the same one I, I visited before I got caught up on all this mess. Goodness, that sounds like a terrible situation. I know that spirits such as Tsuyuri enjoy playing with people, but this seems a little cruel of her. I will speak with her myself, but... Uh, we fox spirits are not allowed near the shrine. Huh? I thought the reason that we never go there is because you always get flustered when Su Chan's around. Sh Shut up, Maiko. Hmm. I didn't realize a panty thief can get embarrassed like that. But maybe you two could show me the way to the shrine. Somehow, the layout of this forest seemed different than from my world. Which pretty much meant that Arya's map was useless now. 
You do not understand. There's more to the ways of us spirits than meets the eye. Takakun, I would try to navigate you to the shrine. No Google Maps. Yeah, a hand-drawn map. Dude, how the fuck... How the fuck did um, the one chick even draw a map? The cartography is very hard. Dumb cunt. Anyway, we will try to navigate you to the shrine. But if Tsuyuri does not want us there, we will simply not get there. Wait, what? I already read that. Okay. The only places we can navigate directly to directly are our home and the village. I could use gate magic, but that takes a super long time to cast unless I concentrate really hard. <sighs> well, I'd actually fall asleep, genuinely. It usually ends up with the, taking just taking us to some place. Uh, not fun. I think I prefer taking the ground route, but thanks for the offer, Michael Chan, was it? I'm actually about to like, literally pass out. I'm so tired. That's right, Sakuro, Sakurano Maiko, at your service. Yay, my first human friend. Silly girl. Tricks are for kids. Not that I doubt your navigational skills or anything, but we didn't cross this path. Did we cross this path a while ago? Oh, you're right. Why are we back here, Onisama? Huh? I thought you were leading the way. Wait, I think if we take this turn. What? Whatever. I think if we turn this way, cut through this tree, we might hear. Ah! The girl seemingly disappeared out of sight as he stepped in between the two tall trees. Tree trunk. Oh, fuck. I'm so tired. Two tall trunks, only to be followed by a loud splash. I ran towards the trees and looked down to see the moving river. Ah! Oni Sama! Oni Sama! Quickly, you have to save her. I'm begging you. I'll do whatever you want. Just please save her. Help! I'm just look at DPO. Don't tell me your sister can't. She can't swim. Neither of us can. Please, talk right here, Osama. Please rescue my sister. Oh, did I unplug my. And it? It died. Ah, his head's ended. He's gonna be right back. Uh, and like that, we're back to your regularly, regular, regularly scheduled programming. Uh, once you're done fucking them, want to help build a shitty mobile base? Like, build, like, what are you, like, what? Like, on the, what? Oh, uh. How do you think there's sex? I'm pretty sure there isn't. There's no way this game would have sex in it. Not a chance. You know, that's not going to happen. Pretty sure it's just like some visual novel. Yeah, obviously he means in space engineers. Fucking retard. Alright, uh, uh, what do 
was I doing? Uh, streaming, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, you asked me if I, well, I asked you if I could narrate at least some of them. Just You're narrating all of it. Narrate. All right. You just narrate the next hour. Yeah, sure. Was I here? Let me, let me just, uh... Let me just, Let me just shut door. the fuck up. Let me, how about you shut the fuck up? Bandit, your stream is off? Yeah, I know, I just got back. Alright, I believe in you. I believe in you. DPF? Right, I'm back. So... I guess I don't have a choice. Smiling weakly, I pulled off my jacket and dove into the river. The cold water sending shivers down my spine as I swam towards Machiko, who despite a lack of a strong current, was slowly disappearing under the water. Urged on by the worried shouts of Maiko, I tried to reach the girl as quickly as possible. Can you... Can you dial back the Nazi? <laughs> it's just... It's a standard German accent. <laughs> no, 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 no. You never talk like that. I don't know right now why you're turning Nazi, alright? <laughs> Stop doing that. Nazi. Stop doing that shit, man. Bro, he's a, he's a... a little bit more heavy on the sets. Anyway. Continue. <laughs> Read, cunt. I need to edit that part out. I, I just read that part. Go on. It took me a few strokes before I reached her, but by the time I gra had grabbed a hold of her and pulled her out of water, she had lost consciousness. Next slide. She's not breathing. Oh god. I felt my stomach drop. Dreadful things are of what might happen if I didn't do something began to fill my mind. But what in the world could I possibly do? Stabile Seitenlage. CPR? I, I don't know what that is. She's not breathing. Help her. Please save her. Only someone. Wake up. Just get a defib. <laughs> Wake up! Okay. Wake up! I need to concentrate. Can you find something to dry her off with? Right. Great. A mage without a revive spell. Yeah. Kind of useless to be honest. As if I'm trying to steer my nerves for what I was supposed for what I'm about to do, I muttered those words before leaning in. All I can remember from my first aid training was that the patient had to be in so a so-called recovery position that I had to blow air into the mouth and push down on her chest. All I, all, I, I, all I remember was eating a burger. My heart pounded faster and faster as I looked down at the fox girl. I fit, f could feel my cheeks heating up as a blush spread across my face. Clumsily I put her into what I hoped was the right position, and slowly I lowered myself towards her face. My lips parted. And oh oh my god. Asked, you know, I'm a beautiful, exquisite creature, but fishing me into a river so you can play a hero is a bit much darker. <laughs> I'm getting hour. called in a minute here, give me a minute. Hello? Yes, I'm getting Hello? something to eat. Coming! I'm gonna get something to eat, guys. Give me a minute. Fucking screen. I'm stopping on that fucking screen. <laughs> Alright, then. Um, also, I'm taking bets I'm whether I'm able to. I'm giving my gyro, give me a minute. I'm taking bets whether I'm able to rewrite the entire YouTube extension uh, by the time uh, when it's done with this. To be honest, if, if he finishes this visual novel uh, today, I'm gonna uh, buy him another weird game to play. And one that's really fun.